Um, now I'm going to read a little bit here because it's a little bit technical, but I want you to, to um, it will help you to understand a little bit more. So um, we need to move our fascia slowly, even if it takes a year, um, because we want the glue and mucus, mucus uh, of the fascia to be gliding smoothly against each other, against these fascial sheets, um, because that will make your glad wrap stretch even further. Um, um, it will also um, strengthen the elastic, elasticity, the plasticity within it, and um, the collagen in it. Now I haven't mentioned, but I will mention that one of the components inside the fascia is it has a crimp to it. And we know that when a kangaroo bounces, it's the it's the uh, it's the it's the crimp that it has within its fascia, not the muscles, that allows it to do this to continuously be able to bounce. Um, and so we too can be um, can develop and can can develop and strengthen and lengthen our crimp that is within it. This, uh, if you think of Shirley Temple, Shirley Temple's curls, if you pull those curls down, they go straight. But then they have the ability to bounce back. So you let go and poof, up they come. That's like the kangaroo. Now, it can only do that because it has, it has, it is strong in its crimp, in its bounce ability, at the top ends and the bottom ends where it's received, the space that it's able to lengthen itself into or spring itself into, has been developed. So, if you're trying to extend your strength, extend your length, extend your flexibility then we need to have this section in the middle that has a really good bounce ability, extendability, and then the ability to bounce back and go back into its good constitution of the Shirley Temple curls. And the areas above it and below it will be able to take the bounce, so to speak. Um, okay, so the epithelial cells need to arrange themselves on this laminate type of glad wrap, this laminate um, surface, which is healthy proteins. If you have no um, laminate or the surface is um, not smooth, it, it may have a, a bunch of adhesions on it, you may have a lot of injuries that keep on reoccurring, or you may have some um, health problem, or health manifestations or unhealthy manifestations due to your lifestyle that are affecting the surface of this fascia, then um, these epithelial cells won't line up correctly into that laminate machine and come out the other side with a smooth, lovely picture on it. Um, and you know, you all know what a laminate machine is. You put, you have, you might have a picture, and then you put the laminate on top of it, and you put it through the machine. And if you don't have it all lined up correctly, you'll have all these horrible bumps. Like, like that on the laminate. When it comes out the other end, your picture's got a big bump inside it or a, a, a bend crossed over, so it's not a smooth surface. Um, so when you do these holding poses, gymnastic poses, um, and these healthy types of movement, 
it allows the laminate to squeeze, to ring, and to reset via the fascial movement slowly and adequately. When you change the connective tissue around your body, it allows this laminate protein to let the cells do the job they were meant to do. And that, if you think of every system in your body, circuitry, lymphatic, any system in the body will be affected in a healthier way if your laminates throughout the whole of the fascia is lined up well. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, that's a pretty good um, demonstration, I think, for that. If your muscles are bulging out too big and the fascia around it, the connective tissue around it is not laminately smooth, then that will affect your muscle as well. Certainly affect the tendons and ligaments of the, of the muscle around and even inside the muscle itself. Even because the fascia goes right into, even into the belly of the muscle. Um, so it will act like the, the glad wrap that's like you might have this big bulging muscle coming out of your glad wrap fascia but around it it's it hasn't been trained long along with it and so it's well it ends up like this doesn't it that's what your fascia will end up like and that's your big bulging muscle the fascia around it is weak and short.